Hey guys. Hey beautiful people. <laughs> okay, so um this is my review, my update review on um the stuff I did by the other night. Um I have the lashes on. You can see my real lashes, but like I'm trying to get used to everything. Um okay, so they're not heavy weight, they're lightweight. They're um, Revealve, Re by Revealve, London Lady Lashes. There's five pairs included, okay? And then you can reuse them, um, multiple uses to wear. I just don't know if I wanna do that or not. Curly free, um, lightweight. See, they're lightweight. And that helps because the Paris Hilton ones, I guess I've learned my lesson, um, the different, the way the different lashes look. So if they look real heavier looking, like more like the lashes are fuller than what these are, then I know not to get them. Um, these, I love these. And I did cut them down because they were touching up here and it just didn't look natural and I like a natural look. Um, you can, I used the eyelash curler, I did use that. Um, and then it was only four fifty on sale, but I really like these, and I like this brand, four fifty. But um, yeah, so it tells you how to use them and stuff like that, and um, I really like these. And then I used this yesterday. I wanted to do a tutorial this morning, but I was in a rush to hurry up and get to church and everything, trying to get the kids up and. It got hecked it. Um, but I used this today. It was a mixture between these two. Um, and here are the colors. Tuscan Coral Coconut Groove, Groove and Gold Dust. I haven't tried this one just as a highlighter yet, but I've like swiped it all on the brush and did my face. Um, but I used this as an eyeshadow yesterday and I really liked it. Um, and I needed bl blush, um, more blushes. And for $5.99, and it's, it's Laura Geller. That's really not bad. Um, but great review on this. Okay, so I broke the rules. I have to use this, but on my Almay, I don't. But I try to take it off, and I'm scared I'm going to break it, but you have to twist it. See? You have to twist it up to get the foundation. And it's a lighter color. I don't... It's not a lighter color because the Almay is the same color, but it's just, I guess, a different formula. Um, this is 110 Ivory. I'm not tanning right now, so... I get light shades because I am kind of pale. Um, but, I mean, I like the way it wears, but I like the Almay better. I like their formula better than that one. Um, but I use it. Um, and be careful because if you do get it, it will come out if you don't use it. So, But anyways, um, I'm not too happy with the mascaras because I like the big fat brush um but this is boss max max lash boss max extra bold mascara this is by laura geller too um i'll show y'all but see and i try to use it down here and i just really i mean it's new mascara that's all it that matters it's clean they still have my butt some. I don't want to give it up yet. And I really, I can't find that mascara, so I might splurge uh, once I get my paycheck on the butt some, the big butt some um, mascara. Because I like that in Lancome. Like, them are my favorite mascaras. Um, I did like the L'Oreal one that's kind of similar to the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Mascara. That one's amazing. 
Um, the only problem with that, it seems the more you use that one, um, it gets chunky, like clumpy. I've never seen that before. That's the only downfall with that L'Oreal one. Um, this Christy Brinkley, I kind of like this one, um, but not too much. I don't like the brush. I like the big fat brushes. And I feel like the big fat brushes gives you more of a volume. And with like the the one from Butsum, I don't have to wear lashes. Like I really don't. And I can curl curl it with a curler, a uh, lash curler, and it looks good. Um, yeah, I just I'm real particular and picky when it comes to mascara. Um, so this guy I got for two dollars. It works great. It hurts really bad. Um, but I got it. And that hair is driving me crazy. Um, I got it and I tried it out with my nose and it's great. But I'm going to get some charcoal um, nose strips too and in my nose. So I got all these in a kit by the. Sculpture, what's it called? I don't think that's what it's called though. But anyways, I got all these in the brush. And I went to go try the brush and it came off. Um, so I'll probably buy some more of them because I like it. And if they're not on discount, they were $5.50 so I guess that's why. But I was thinking about maybe hot glue in this maybe to work. Um, but I've been using this one a lot. It's like a clay mask and it has cleared my skin up and I've only used it for two days um, me and my daughters tried that it like picks up on um, the pores and if you have big pores it, it minimizes them so they're not that big so that really works too it's the charcoal one charcoal gel face mask and I'll just open it up to show y'all so my daughter's been using a lot of it, but I use this with my finger, but only got a little bit because if you don't be careful, you don't want to waste products. And but I love I was telling my daughter on the way home from church is you cannot ever I don't I don't care if I spend seventy dollars on face care. Your skin always has to be clean before you put makeup on it. So if I go spend seventy dollars in skincare products, I'm happy, and I don't care what kind of skincare products it is. But um, I got in. A lot of people don't realize, but I have sensitive skin, so I'm using all these products, but my face is not breaking out. So I can tell you these products are really good. Um, and this one, I tried this Saturday afternoon, and. In, you're supposed to only do face care um, three to time three to four times a week was what it said on directions. I use face care every night and moisturizers every night, and um, I'm gonna go get all that too in a minute. I'll go show y'all what I put on my face afterwards. But anyways, I used the Dead Sea Mineral Gel, and it. It dried out my skin like I my nose was peeling and stuff and the review on this is amazing um, it does have glitter in it so I left glitter on my face after I washed clearly really good but for $3.99 I'll go get another thing of it because I really like that um, I like the way it left my skin feeling um, it's it was very hydrated moisturized um and this guy i'm gonna go back and get another thing for two dollars but if i pay full price so what i won't care because this stuff is amazing i think it was two dollars because this i can't shut this but this was absolutely amazing like it left my skin i think it's got collagen in it because it left my skin feeling kind of tighter than what it was before which that's good i like collagen um but it was really 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 good and then i'm gonna show y'all what the moisturizers that i put on my face
and I need to buy some moisturizers. Um, <clears throat> but I got this from Allogenis. And you just put it on your face. It's a firming and lifting contour and serum. And um, it's I got two or three of them. And then Clinique. I love Clinique. Um, maybe when I start working, I can afford it. And sometimes TJ Maxx and Marshall sells Clinique too. And it's dirt cheap. Um, but this is the Laser Focus Correction, Wrinkle Correction eye cream uh, I can get my camera there we go but um, I like that I only have a little bit of it but when I get samples I try to prolong them as much as I can this little guy is amazing I put it on my face after I do these masks and stuff and literally I can tell you between Algenis and this one, Clinique, they are amazing. Um, if you want to lift your face, you know, these are amazing. Like, yeah. So, but this Clinique one is Repair Laser Focus. It smooths, restores, and corrects. So, I only use a little bit of it because it's like jelly, and so is this one. But I do need to get some moisturizers. I got face care now. I need to get some moisturizers. So, my black soap that I usually use, I don't got no more of it. So, I'm just going to use these until they're gone, until I can get more. And then, I'm going to get me a desk to put all my stuff and, like, my own space. I've been going to Kirkland's and been looking around. I'm still on the lookout for a desk because I did find one at Kirkland's, but it wasn't large enough. Um, but, if I don't know. I'm a couponer. And if they gave me a deal, if I bought the mirror and the desk, maybe they would cut me a deal. I don't know. But anyways, I cannot wait to get everything together. Because not only will it help me when I'm making videos, which I need to get a tripod but um, to hold up my phone. But also, as I've, I got makeup and stuff like that, I can just put it on the shelves and stuff. But... Anyways, and I'm wearing the Revlon lipstick. When it dries, this is what it looks like. I've been drinking coffee. So, it still gives you a shade. Um, but that's my review today. And like I said, I wanted to make a tutorial before I went to church. But I had to serve at church today. So, I had to be there a little early. And um, I was in a rush. And I kind of felt bad because... I did want to show y'all my morning routines instead of doing them late at night and feeling like I'm wasting makeup, which I'm, I don't feel like I'm wasting makeup, but um, maybe y'all can get ready with me one morning. But anyways, um, that's that. Um, I feel like I bought more. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. I'll find it. I don't know. But anyways, um that's this tutorial and then i hope to make more um give me a couple of days and i'll bring back um Haley and maybe do her makeup or something but anyways that's what i wanted to show y'all do i do night creams at night yes i do but i also do them during the day if i'm watching a movie or something or drinking coffee i'll just out of the blue I like a clean face. Um, I like to be bump free, and I, uh, I just like to be clean, period. But anyways, y'all have a good Sunday, and I hope y'all like this tutorial. And take care, and I will be back soon. Bye.